Okay, I'm just uh, testing the assembly of all these uh, these bits. So that's the arm on there, which basically um, there's a couple of M4 nuts sit in there, and that just bolts through. So that seems to make sense. Um, I've just fitted the other one of these into the actual frame. So I'll just swing the camera around and I'll show you what's going on there. So it's all a bit of a dry fit at the moment. I just want to make sure I've got everything uh, in and not, um, you know, hitting each other. Because this arm, um, I think I've got this right, but that doesn't actually uh, hit at the moment but I'm not sure once that starts moving so uh, I don't think it does actually. No that's going to be alright. So I think I've got this right I'm just going to put it all together and test it and just make sure I've got it the right way around and everything but there's there's um, three screws screw that assembly that that piece onto there which are those and this is just pushed through at the moment. Um, so We've effectively got that going on. I mean, this with this, I'm going to screw that on this side, and uh, and that will be on. This will go in on this side in a second. So, uh, well, I think that arm actually goes on there. I think that's the gripper side on. Yeah, that that arm actually physically goes on this this section. So I've just um, got to take that off this assembly, but it's, uh, it's good to just check it all works. So I'm going to fit that in there as well now. Uh, so that's the other side, so this will just screw in. I've got some short little um, self-taps, I don't want too long, I don't want to split anything. Oops, dropping everything. Let's put that one in there. another one in the bottom just so it'll line up. Two screws is going to be more than enough to hold that in place, isn't it? Just be careful you don't split the, the uh, plastic. So that is. See if you can see in there. Just... firmly against there now. So we should actually be able to just test it with the arm in there and see what happens. I haven't put the doors on yet, uh, which is something I've got to do. So the arms are only going to go on temporarily just to check it all out. But the doors I've got to work on because I think I haven't got the hinges, uh, the actuators for the hinges correct. Um, so that's something I need to look at, which could be an issue, but uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so I've mounted the uh, gripper arm and the. Um, just turn this around a bit. And the other arm, the twirly arm, in in the body there. But what I'm finding um, is it's because it's like because it's loose in the um, in the slot there. It's it's this should be this is. I've had to turn this actually around. This should be this way around. But it's, um, straighten that up a bit. It's just 
clip in the corner of the uh, pan down a bit. It's just clip in the corner of the uh, the uh, the side there. Same with the other one. Um, I've actually put a, 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 a shimmed paper in that side, but this one hasn't got anything in, so that's uh, that's quite loose, as you can see. So if I uh, I'm just manually see that that's knocking those. So what I'm going to do is. Um, uh, last night I was working on this and I actually put some paper shim in there, but I've actually got some quite uh, slightly uh, Pan in there a bit Get in there. I've actually got some uh, thicker shim. So um, I'm just going to do that. So stop that moving um, I suppose if that doesn't work, I can actually push the arm out a little bit put a uh, um, When I say shim, I mean actually like a, 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 a um, a tube around that gap i'll show you what i mean but also if that doesn't work i can i can sort of shim this arm out a bit so the whole thing leans out so that's what i'm just going to try uh and do now so this just comes off with a couple of uh screws So I haven't uh, connected the other end of that at the moment. And just inside there is two M4 captive nuts. And these are just two M4 bolts sitting on the end there. So that just screws in. But that, um, there's a bit of movement on there. Um, and as I say, last night I, I put some paper in there. So I will take that back. It did make a bit of difference. I was just trying it to see what would happen. But I've got uh, some... Um, thicker shim I'm going to put in there and see how that oops dropping all the bolts and see how that goes now so I'm just going to um, work on that for a few minutes okay I've been working on the um, gripper arm um, as I was mentioning before I'm having problems this uh, catches on there so I've actually packed out that with a couple of uh, washers I've put it out almost a quarter of an inch which is like five or six mil I suppose um, but I think I really need to twist it out a bit because it's just catching at the bottom. And I've also turned this around because that was too deep. So again, I, I don't know why that is, but uh, anyway, let me show you it working. I mean, this is a bit abrupt, this, this controller I've got on it. So you can see it. But... that works let me um swing it around you can actually see what's going on inside as well i just swag it all around um so just need to extend my cables a bit so that's working now i've, I've uh, also uh, shimmed out this bar as well um well you can do it with a bit of um, packing tape really but i had some um what's it called uh a ca hinge sheet that i was using for which is this stuff um it's quite good rather because it probably won't wear out because if you do it with a bit of masking tape or something that'll sort of uh, you know start collapsing in there but this this is quite good so i've just just a little bit in there just to stop um that movement you can see it if i swing around you can see it clearly in this side this hasn't been shimmed so there's as opposed to that one which doesn't move at all well not unless you really push it but that was see that's quite loose so uh um but again i've got the same problem uh here let's just move this down so let's push that away a bit with this one. You can hear it just knocking there. Cause, it, Cause that's, and I've actually shimmed that already with two shims. So I'm just going to, um, I've, I've, you know, you can see that's loose there. So uh, I'm just literally printing another um, 
uh, servo actuator bar because I was to take it apart I might as well swap that bar take all that apart shim that out um, but uh, it does you know I haven't I haven't attached that to the other servo until I get this correct and I'm also going to put the doors in so I probably won't attach the uh, the actuating servos uh, you know the push servo bit until I've got these doors in either so um, I'll just get them working. So uh, that's where we are at the moment.